Hello everybody, my name's Amy, welcome back to my channel and I have my September TBR. So I'm filming this a little late, it is currently the 3rd of September because obviously the kids, well not all of them, so the eldest one had his first day back at senior school today, so he started senior school today and then the other two have gone out with their auntie so because she's getting her wedding dress alterations today and obviously they needed to get like their suits um alterated as well so she's taken them for a couple of hours and i thought brilliant so i've had a shower and i thought i'd film my september tbr so i could get that up onto youtube like today hopefully fingers crossed so i thought i would quickly go through the books um, that I'm going to hopefully be reading in September. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six books on my TBR that I'm going to be talking about today. One, I've already started because I started it on the 1st of September and I'm already halfway through and that's um, Reckless by Laura Roberts, Lauren Roberts, sorry. I read Powerless not that long ago and I only gave it three stars, well three and a half because obviously what happened at the ending and I thought I would give this a go to see if I wanted to actually keep the special editions that I've got on order from Waterstones. I'm not going to get the fairy loot ones because they're not, they're not that as good as what I, I mean I like them but I don't like them enough to get them so I thought if I do really enjoy this one I will get the Waterstones ones. They are literally pending on my car, pre-ordered, but I can cancel them. So this is about a um, girl called Payden, and she lives in this um, world with these people called elites, and they have all these magical abilities. And she is an ordinary. She's completely powerless. But her dad brought her up to read people, so she classed herself as a psychic, she then goes out into what they call the, I think it's the slums, I can't remember, and she like robs people to like make money. And she just so happened to rob this guy and then save his life later, who turned out to be one of the princes like, of like the kingdom. And then they go into these purging trials and they have to like team up together and she is completely powerless. She has no, no powers whatsoever. And obviously she basically has to like win these trials to basically win these trials or die to get, I can't remember what the prize is at the end. I cannot remember, but it's that, I mean, I only read it two months ago, but I'm currently halfway through this at the minute. I'm on chapter 28. So I'm on page 213 and I'm liking it a lot better than I did powerless. There's more tension. There's more like stuff that's going on. There's more, like everything that there wasn't in powerless it took forever to actually get to anything in powerless like even like the trials i was reading it and like okay is anything gonna happen yet and then it all just happened like in the last like 200 pages it was like a 500 page book whereas this one's only like 300 something but i am really intrigued of how this is going to end i know this ends on a massive cliffhanger as well so yes so that is the first book I am definitely going to be reading in September because I'm literally already halfway through. So I'm literally halfway through already. So that's the first one. The next one is, um, the next one that I'm going to be reading is What Hunts Inside the Shadows by Harper Elwood. I read the first one to this last year and only gave it three and a half because it was very, very boring. But then what happened at the end was basically like, oh, okay. Yeah, so this is basically a ga about a girl, what's her name? Cool. It's Estrella. Right, okay. So Estrella basically lives in this town and she is basically like the concubine or whatever to the Baron. And every year someone gets sacrificed to keep like this veil up to like protect them from the Fae. But when she then goes to get sacrificed, something happens, happens, and then that fay, the fail breaks. She then gets marked by a fay, and then she has to go on the run. And then her brother goes with her, and then they meet this mysterious man along the way. And that's all I'm telling you. 
because then obviously I'll be giving it away because obviously this is the second one in the series. So obviously I haven't, I cannot really remember what happened. I do, I remember what happened at the end, but I don't remember kind of what happened like in between. So before I probably read this one, I will probably read a massive long um, like summary of it so I can kind of like refresh my memory or I might find someone on YouTube that's read it and has a spoiler filled blog so I can remember what's going on. This is the second one that I plan on reading in September. I'm not as excited about it as some of the other ones that I've got on my TBR but I am excited to like see what happens and what's going on and also I want to read this one to then know if I'm going to DNF the series or not because I have the third one up there and the fourth one comes out very very soon. So that will be good for me to know if I'm actually going to continue the series or not. Because if this one's a three stars, then I'm not going to continue it. I am really excited to listen to this one because it's one of my favourite authors. I read the first one and I felt the same reading that one as I did when I read A Throne of Glass. Because I only gave A Throne of Glass three stars. But then I gave like all the rest in the series, like four or five stars, because I then absolutely loved the series. And this is the second one also in the series, and that is A Queen Comes to Power by Chloe, Chloe Pen Aranda. I think that's how you say her name. Sorry about that. I've got, obviously, I think I've got something stuck in my throat. I'm not sure, so I had to go get some water. We shall try that again. So I will then hopefully be reading A Queen Comes to Power by Chloe Pen Aranda. That's how I've spelt it out in when I'm reading it. So this is obviously the second one. Um, I like I said, I'm going to be listening to this on audio and then reading along. I would really, really wanted to like annotate and tab the first one, but I couldn't get into it. So I don't know whether to reread that one and annotate it because it's not that long, or I just won't tab. But it's like that really like nice like paper that you can like write in and like tab and everything. Because obviously I would love to reread and completely annotate my throne of glass series which i'm going to do at some point i just don't know when i might do it next year but yes um this one is i can't even remember what it's about really to be honest that's shocking that i'm going to be reading the second one i have no idea i'm going to have to not again read a like spoiler or something to go along with the second one, the first one, because I cannot remember. All I know is that it's about a guy and a girl, and her name is Faith, and his name is Nick. That's all I know about this one. I cannot, for the life of me, remember, and I can't even read you the um, blurb on the back, because obviously it will contain spoilers. So I don't know if I can read this. So basically, when courts collide, blood may be spilled, but then... When destiny collides, blood may hold power. So do with that what you will, because I cannot remember anything. I think she has, like, special abilities. Things like dream walking or something. She can go into people's dreams, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. I cannot for life of me remember. <laughs> That's really bad. That, but the thing is, though, I can't really remember anything that happened in the first book of The Throne of Glass. Any other one after that, um, it's imprinted in my memory. So this is the third one that I'm hopefully going to be reading this month. And then the next one is one of my book club picks. So I am on a book club on Instagram. But it's called The Reading Corner, and it's got a load of like, my bookstagram like, friends on it that I've like accumulated over the years and we're all in the same book club and that is law of the wild by i literally just looked up how to pronounce her name and i cannot pronounce her name so i'm going to show you her name because i cannot pronounce it my reading pronunciations is awful so when it comes to that pronouncing name pre see i can't even talk yeah anyway so <laughs> it's a fairy note book so it's one of my fairy note books so it's absolutely stunning and obviously this is Laura the Wild I think it's like Analea Analea Alea maybe it's Alea but I cannot do the last name so maybe it's Alea Analea 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 that sounds quite that sounds right Analea 
We'll go with Anna Leia. If it's wrong, so sorry. So, so sorry. Anyway, so we have Law of the Wilds. Um, basically, I don't really know much about this book either, so I'm just going to read the blurb. Um, so it says here, a library... Bleh, a library with a deadly enchantment, a fey lord who wants in a human woman, woman willing to risk it all for a taste of power. In a land ruled by ruthless fey, 21-year-old law, I can't pronounce her last name's village, is trapped in a forest prison. Law knows that any escape attempt is futile. Her scars are a transmit to two of her past failures. But when her village is threatened, Law makes a desperate deal with a fey lord. She convinces him she will risk her life for wealth, but really she's after the one thing the fey covet above all, magic of her own. As Law navigates the hostile world outside of her village, she's forced to rely on two fey males to survive. Oh, I can see a love triangle going on here. When undenying chemistry ignites, she's not just in danger of losing her life, but also her heart to the very creatures she can never trust. So maybe it's going to be a love triangle. Maybe it's not. Mm. Oh, he's got like deer horns. We shall see. But yes, this is my book club book. Um, it's the first romanticy book I got from Fairyloot as well. So I'm quite interested and excited to read this one. So yes, that's one of the ones I'm going to be reading as well. Let's just put this back because that'll be my bookmark when I do read it. Okay, so the next one I'm going to be reading. I don't have high hopes for this one because so many people have given such bad reviews about it and they're really like quite mixed. So I'm struggling with what it's actually going to be about. So this is A Curse of Blood and Walls by Melissa McTerran. And this is what it looks like. Now this is a beautiful cover. I'm not going to lie. And that is a beautiful looking man. It is. It's a beautiful looking man. But, apparently it's really fast, it's also very, very spicy, and yeah, and on the back it says, I want you to chase me, and what do you want to do when to me when I, what do you want me to do when I catch you? Yeah. So, basically, oh sorry, there we go, so yes, so I'm very excited to read this one as well. I do like a little bit of smut, but it depends on how like fast it is, I suppose. It's quite shiny as well. So, and obviously, like I said, this is also a pretty edition. I have all of these on Audible and audio. So I'm basically making this month an audio month. So I'm making this month an audio month. So it will help me like once the kids are completely back at school, it will help me get back into like basically like the routine of like everything. Okay, so now we're coming to the last book which I am super, super, super excited for this one. I've heard loads of good things about this. And that is The Wren in the Holly Library by K.A. Lind. So I have looked in this and just the man alone. That right there. That right there is why I'm going to read it and why I want to read it. And then, obviously, when you look at, like, the back, at the, the female character, she mega gives me Izzy vibes from um, Shadowhunters. So she gives me Izzy vibes. Mega Izzy vibes. But I am very excited to read this one. Or I know it's about monsters, and it's in a library, and it's enemies to lovers, so... I'm really excited to read this one. This is the only one that I don't think I have on Audible, unless I've got it on Spotify. But I literally renewed my hours today, so that's good. But I might physically read this one. I'm not, oh, I don't think I want to physically read this one. The writing's really small. So yes, so that is the last book that I am going to be reading on, in, in September. Um, I don't want to actually know much about this because I always find that the books that you don't know much about are the ones that you really enjoy the most. And I haven't seen any, I haven't looked at any reviews on this. I'm going into this completely and utterly blind. So that is the last one that I am going to be reading, hopefully. Probably won't be the last book I read in September, but it's the last one on my list. So oh, they're all going to fall over if I'm not careful. They're like balancing on the chair. So 
They are all the books that I hope to plan to read in September. I'm now going to end the video here. I hope you liked my video. I hope you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.